、温和、保守、一丝不苟，这是英国人给世界留下的印象。正如这座伫立于泰晤士河畔、为英国人民准确报时一百六十年的大本钟，它高近百米，重达十四吨，看似笨重庞大，报时精度却高达。每周误差不超过两秒，而这得益于其内部精密的构造。这座看起来像是中世纪城堡的建筑，隐藏着现代文明的密码：电话、火车、电视、万维网以及进化论，这些塑造了现代世界的发明。全部来自英国。当然，英国人的贡献不止于此，他们还有一样令全世界都为之疯狂的发明——现代足球从伦敦乘火车往北四个小时，便到达了位于英格兰中心的谢菲尔德。这座曾经以钢铁闻名的工业城市，如今却以拥有众多体育设施著称，是名副其实的体育之都。基斯哈克特是第一批英超裁判，在国际足球历史与统计联合会编制的榜单中，他被列为有史以来最优秀的一百名裁判之一。Well, today I'm on my way to Sheffield Football Club, the first and oldest club in the world. The rules of football were created by the people at the time who ran this particular club. Without this particular club, we wouldn't have the game of football in the world, and we certainly wouldn't have World Cups. As it says,、uh, this is the home of football, and I'm off to meet Richard, the chairman. In the 34 years of professional football career, from the regional league to the Premier League, the Cup, 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 足球比赛的裁判。Hi Richard, good to see you. Hey Keith, yeah, nice to see you. Long time no see. It is, it is. Hey Keith, come through. I'll show you the ground now.、Yes. It's changed a little bit. Oh crikey me! Wow. You know, overseas when we we talk about football, they they think of Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, sadly, they forget. But I always promote the idea. Oh, just a minute! We've got Sheffield FC, an amateur club that's remained amateur from its、uh, origin, and、uh, it still plays to this day. Um, Sheffield FC were the pioneers of football, not only in the city but the world. So Sheffield FC were formed in、uh, 1857 by two cricketers, Nathaniel Creswick and William Prest.、Um, they wanted to keep fit for cricket in in the summer, and they played ball games at universities, and decided to come up with a common set of rules. 第一家足球俱乐部的成立，以及足球规则的制定，为英国足球走向现代化。奠定了基础，各地纷纷效仿，并成立了自己的足球俱乐部。一八六三年十月二十六日，十一家俱乐部代表在伦敦弗里马森旅馆开会，成立了世界足球历史上第一个足球行业管理机构——英足总。早在十四世纪，早期足球就在英国有着广泛的群众基础。那时的足球和如今
有很大不同。每逢基督教的特定节日，比赛会在相邻的两个村子之间举行，通常是好几百号人同时参加，男女老少齐上阵，并且可以手脚并用。只要把足球带进对方村子的中心区域，就得一分。在几乎无序的状态下，村民们往往将赛场演变为战场，所到之处，片甲不留。工业革命后，出于强身健体的目的，足球被引入工学系统，同时为了限制暴力的发生，各工学开始建立了自己的。足球规则。一八四八年，各个大学的足球代表在剑桥大学制定了剑桥规则，这是世界上第一个文字形式的足球规则。规则中第一次规定了一支足球队的上场人数为十一人，原因是当时的大学宿舍通常住十个学生，加上一名监舍，正好十一人。除了剑桥规则外，各地的俱乐部也制定了自己的规则。谢菲条例便是由谢菲尔德俱乐部制定，并在当时的谢菲足球总会中实行。Well, I've got a few things to show you. I've got a few things to show you here. So this document here was the first printed word of football and from the original rules. What you'll see in here is、um, some of the rules. Are very similar to today. Obviously, it's, it's evolved, but we shall kick off from the middle. Yeah, exactly the same, same as today. Yeah, each player shall wear a red cap or a blue cap, yeah, which of course is kits. Yeah. 由于规则不统一，不同的地区和俱乐部之间依然不能同台竞技。对于崇尚公平竞赛的英国人来说，统一足球比赛规则势在必行。在英足总经历了六轮谈判，吸取了各地的足球规则基础上，英国第一部全国性的足球比赛规则诞生了。其基本原则是只能用脚踢，并且禁止身体粗野冲撞。拉克比公学代表因为坚持可以踢人、可以用手持球的原则，退出了英足总。最终，创立了另一项体育运动——英式橄榄球。Hey. All right. Hello. So this is our chairman. This is Richard Timms. Come in. Come, come in. in. Welcome. Welcome. This is a a copy of、uh, our original laws of the game. Yeah. So you can keep that as a memento. You can't buy it. It's a、all、gift、right. for you. All right. And then、Thank、when you, you go back to Iceland, you can wear a Sheffield FC scarf. Yeah. That was good. So this、yeah. is, is is all our history around here. Various trophies we've run,、um, and and you'll see different shirts from different clubs that have、uh, they've come and paid homage to the world's first football club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, last week on Saturday we had 18 Germans to Berlin. The game was postponed, but they still came to the ground. I stood in the stand singing <laughs> really? all afternoon, yeah, and drinking beer. I mean, there was no match. <laughs> 尽管如今的谢菲尔德俱乐部是一支业余球队，但因其历史成就，每年都有来自世界各地的球迷到此参观。Yeah. And the other, the other piece that I've got out to show you is、um, something that's rather special, and this is a FIFA Order of Merit. Crikey! And there are only two in the world、yeah, ever awarded to a football club. So one's to Sheffield FC, yeah, and the other is to Real Madrid. And Real、oh. Madrid, they got theirs because they're the most successful club side in the world, and we got ours because we're the original pioneer. Yes. How the ball has changed. How the ball has changed. Huh? We used to talk about. The ball absorbing water and getting heavier, and、uh, and players getting the odd、uh, odd cut forehead because they deaded the ball on the lace. You can't imagine Cristiano Ronaldo playing with a ball like that. No, no. In 足总成立后，在统一规则的指导下。
足总杯赛和联赛开始举办，规则也在不断的实践中得到更新和进化。And, and you know, when we look back in history, in 1970, right, one man, a former referee, Ken Aston, came up with the idea of the introduction of red and yellow cards. And the reason why was that in a 1966 World Cup game at Wembley Stadium, the referee was having difficulty removing or sending off an Argentinian player because of language barrier. And some years afterwards, Ken Ridden, the schoolmaster, driving along the road in his car, suddenly had this great idea of seeing a set of traffic lights and saying, that's what I'm going to do. Caution, be aware, you're off. From the red light, the idea of the red light was simply to solve the problem of the language and the language of the language. The decision of the judge became more clear to the judge. 在足球场上，裁判作为规则的执行者，被称为“黑衣法官”。然而，想成为一个顶级的裁判，绝不止罚球和举牌这么简单。西佛领带，再加上灯笼长裤，这就是最早的足球裁判形象，十足的绅士风度。当然，如今的裁判早已轻装上阵，但绅士的武器——沟通解决问题。对于裁判工作来说，依然适用，甚至无比重要。这一点，是基斯职业生涯贯穿始终的裁判法则。And sometimes I think that I see referees ducking the red and giving a yellow, and I see yellow cards now being given like confetti. Whereas in my day, we probably do a bit of talking, and I think managing players. And talking to players, I know they're different countries and all that goes, but most most players now playing the game can speak the language, and therefore in that situation, being able to communicate and man manage players is much more effective than just dishing yellow cards out from distance and not even warning the player. 身为裁判，通过积极的与球员沟通，而不是随心所欲的举牌，来保证比赛流畅进行。是基斯一直秉承的原则。I think it depends on the style of the referee as to how he manages a game, but of course it's the referee's job to keep it as free flowing as possible. We all enjoy the game of football when it's not stopping and starting every two minutes. So I think it's the referee's job to apply the laws, but also to to try to make it run as smoothly as possible, and and for him or her. Not to be the focus of attention. It should be about the players and their skills. 二零零四年，从赛场上退休后的基斯被任命为职业比赛有限公司的总裁。著名的前英超裁判霍华德·韦伯也曾经得到过他的指导。基斯开始通过建立裁判与俱乐部教练的沟通机制，来推动足球比赛规则的良好运行。假摔，又称跳水，是足球场上司空见惯的陋习，也是令裁判们深感头痛的问题。葡萄牙著名球星克里斯蒂亚诺·罗纳尔多，早年间就因为频繁的假摔骗点球，被球迷戏称为“跳水王子”。为了打击跳水的风气，吉斯知道。他必须和行业里最有权威的人
好好的聊一聊。I can remember going, and I've got Sir Alex and you know Benitez and and the managers in a room, and I've stood up and said, guys, I have to tell you, gents, that here's some clips, and I showed some acts of simulation because we had to say it's simulation, not diving. So here they were diving forever, and I've said, gentlemen, I've got to tell you this: the players are getting better. We're having trouble finding it out what it is, and it's only on review video. That we're determining whether it's a foul or it's a dive. There's a bit of guessing in it, but what you're doing is you've got better than we have at detecting it. So one week you're going to get a penalty kick. The next week is going to get a yellow. We're all going to disagree. So I need your help. You know what? I need your help. I need you. I need you to try to get some integrity into the game in this area. Routine. 在职业比赛有限公司的督促下，每一位英超裁判都要在新的赛季开始之前访问至少一家英超俱乐部，当面向主教练解释新赛季的规则变动，保持裁判和俱乐部之间、球员之间对于规则的统一认识。除此之外，与公众沟通也是裁判工作中重要的一环。<clears throat> what we have to do is we need the fans' engagement because without the fans, we ain't got a game. 在退休后，基斯依然从事与裁判相关的社会活动。出于职业习惯，他热衷向公众分享他对于裁判工作以及新技术的看法。今天，他受一个球迷频道的邀请，来录制一期关于视频助理裁判的讨论节目。视频助理裁判技术是通过对比赛画面的回放和分析，来协助场上裁判做出准确判罚的辅助依据。自2016年3月，国际足联开始在职业比赛中引进该技术，英国对于该项技术的讨论就没有停止过。Of the warm down today, I've got a very special guest joining me, and his former referee boss, the boss of all bosses of the referees. 曼联忠实球迷史蒂芬·豪森在五年前和朋友一起创立的这个频道，如今已经成为了国外视频网站上最大的球迷频道之一。Yeah, and a lot of the current players watch us. I know with the with full-time devils, I know. A sizable percent, maybe 20, 30 percent of the first team, we know for a fact watch full-time doubles, and there might be more that we don't know. From 祖父到自己的儿子，曼联球迷的传统在史蒂芬的家族中传递，球迷文化也早已在无数英国人的基因中根深蒂固。根据英足总的数据显示，百分之九十四的球迷。根据足球赛程来制定他们的每年计划。百分之九十一的球迷曾为了看球而爽约。百分之六十六的球迷与同事见面聊天的第一件事就是足球。有球迷才有足球运动的说法，在英国一点儿也不为过。这一次，平日里互相看不顺眼的各队球迷，出奇一致地站在了同一阵线。I obviously want decisions to go the correct way with VAR, but I'm also a big fan of rugby league, and I think it's ruined rugby league.、Uh, rugby league now decisions that just get given when there's no video ref, we go to the video ref. And you can't remove the explosion of absolute ecstasy, arms and legs, and just chaos that happens when a goal is scored. Because if you do that, the game is dead. It's absolutely dead. There is no coming back from the game if every single goal starts to be. Let's just check there was no problem in the build-up. 由于频频叫停比赛且延时过长，视频助理裁判的使用打乱了比赛的节奏。
影响了比赛的流畅度和观赏性。尽管多项数据表明，该项技术有利于提高裁判判决的准确率，然而，为了保持比赛的激情，这一次，英国球迷没有做出妥协。Everything that we love about football is those goals. Every, no one remembers throw-ins. No one remembers fouls generally. Football is about goals and it's about winning matches. And if you take away the essence of football by making it, I, I would rather have errors. I would rather lose titles like we did in 2010 when Drogba was offside. I would rather lose a title like that than than not experience moments like Champions League final in '99 when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The commentary says, and Solskjaer has won it. It doesn't say, and Solskjaer has put it in the net. Let's just see if it's a goal. Can you imagine the difference? In the last year, the Yin Chao Club vote has been in the last year. The 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 vote has been in the last year. 也成为了下一赛季欧洲五大联赛中唯一不会使用该项技术的超级联赛。向来走在改革前沿的英超，这一次却慢下了脚步。无论是出于对英式足球传统的坚守，还是对比赛激情的追求，视频助理裁判在英国的应用还有一段路要走。但无论如何。这届俄罗斯世界杯中，视频助理裁判的使用和表现，必将成为人们茶余饭后讨论的焦点。嗯、从手写的足球规则，到创立国际组织系统化制定规则，再到球迷、从业者、俱乐部。全民参与并影响规则的更新和改进，在足球点燃全球运动激情的历程中，英国以其标准化结构和系统的竞技体系，贡献了现代足球最精华的部分——规则。这才有了我们今天看到的足球场上公平、公正的竞技足球。A normal lad. I can, my dad was a steelworker. You know, I was expected to go in the steelworks, believe it or not. And I finished up refereeing, and I got caught into this disease because that's what it is—the love of the game, the passion. I'm really passionate about the game. And when people come up and say, "Hey, you've done well, ref. Thanks," and all that, it's the small things that are really nice. 英超被认为是世界上最好的联赛之一。联赛的主体是每年俱乐部之间的三百八十场赛事角逐。I'm so good.